Hello, could I speak to Saida Reddy? Yes, speaking. Hi, Saida. My name is uh, Srinivas. I'm calling from Oracle, actually. Yes, Srinivas. Nice to talk. Um, I think uh, you might have spoken to my uh, team member, Anand Nanda, from yes, uh, yes. India. Yes, yes. Correct. Okay. Is it okay time to talk now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hi, Saida. So, uh, just wanted to briefly touch upon... Um, the, this opportunity at Oracle. So has Anil given you a little bit background about what this job opportunity is? Yes, yes, yes already he given. Like he just he overall he gave like a DevOps engineer <laughs> mainly and, and the exact correct, experience. correct. <laughs> yeah. So Saida, where are you currently based out of? Oh, uh, I'm in Bangalore. <laughs> You're in Bangalore, is it? Yes, yes, I'm in Bangalore. Uh, you are looking for change either in Bangalore or it can be in Hyderabad also? Yeah, no problem. Anyway, anywhere in, uh, no problem. Bangalore or okay. uh, Andhra Pradesh. In, I'm from Andhra Pradesh, no problem for me. It's Hyderabad also. Okay, got it. Perfect. Okay. So you are okay for going to Hyderabad? Too. Yes. Not a problem. Okay. Um, Saida, I'll just give you a little bit background about uh, this position so that way you are aware of the big picture, okay. what, what we are trying to do. Okay. Um, so basically, um, I manage this HM release and operations team. Okay. Uh, we are currently having developers in about 17 countries. Okay. And uh, we manage a development organization from a release and operations perspective for about... Uh, Close to 1,100 developers. Oh, good, good. It's a very big project. Yes. Okay. okay. Anil reports to me. Mm -hmm. I'm based out of California, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, so Anil reports to me, and he's there in Bangalore. We okay. have people both in Hyderabad and uh, Bangalore. Bangalore office. Okay. In Hyderabad, we have it in high tech city. Okay. You know Shilpa Raman, right? Yes, yes Shilpa Raman. Yes, yes. Yeah, if you just come down the Shilpa Raman, we have uh, Oracle campus there. We have three buildings there. Okay. So in one of the buildings, our team sits there. Oh, okay, okay. Okay? okay. So um, another thing, what we are doing in this particular uh, group is uh, basically we have presence in U.S., okay. India, and China. Okay, China. Because uh, as I said, our developers are there in 17 countries. Okay. So we have to keep it continuously going at all time zones. Oh, okay. Right? Yes, yes. So the role of our team is all the way from planning for a release. Okay. We manage all of the code lines, okay. branches. Okay. okay. I know that you have currently got used to Git. Yes. We use we use another code source uh, in Oracle. We uh, that's uh, our own stuff, but that is built on top of ClearCase. Oh, ClearCase. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason because is um, you would have been used to building projects which are generally small um, in the industry, like Git. Uh, Git is okay for small scale products, okay. but here we are talking about. Uh, 10,000 Java projects. Okay. About 45 J2E apps. Oh, oh very big. <laughs> <Project. laughs> it is massive. Okay. okay. So that is how, um, that's why we use uh, our own uh, source control system based on clear case. Okay. Our build system so, is... So uh, Oracle active. own product, that one? Yes, uh, it's Oracle own product. Okay. We have built on top of clear case. Yeah, clear case. Yes, yes. Okay. So you will still see the same concept that you have to create a branch, you need to refresh, you need to merge down. All the concepts will remain the same. We'll yeah, talk about because uh, all so, you have, uh, the base one is clear case, right? <laughs> yeah, all the yes. Things, yeah. Correct. Okay. okay. And then um, our build system is based on Hudson. Okay, Hudson. Okay. Yeah, Hudson, Hudson. and uh, the, this Jenkins both are like... Uh, <laughs> Fair, fair, Correct. Fair, fair, fair. Except that uh, Hudson was bought over by Oracle yes. and Jenkins continued as a fork in open source. Yes, correct, correct. Some uh, disputes with Oracle and... We also use uh, Jenkins. Yeah, yeah. We Some... also use Jenkins okay. for doing the uh, deployment. Okay, okay. Okay. okay? okay. And uh, our... So now you are continuing with the... uh, uh, Hudson only or you are still you are using Jenkins as well as? We are using both. Both. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 
in future it may change okay. but at this point of time okay. we are using hudson for our build okay. and we are using jenkins for deployment oh oh okay 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 good then um we are using obviously oracle database as our backend okay yeah one and problem. our application server is web logic server yeah all are uh, oracle products only <laughs> yeah yes correct yeah. right yeah. and just to give you an idea yeah. the product which we support okay is used by thousands of customers for hcm okay so what is an hcm product um are you aware of what hcm product is hcm yeah human capital management yeah yeah i have a aware but i i am not much on that it's so, same uh, it's same model i know that so like, today yeah. today you are interviewing for oracle correct okay yeah yeah you applied for a job position um recruiter contacted you yes. we are interviewing you eventually correct. we will if we if we bring you on board you will become an employee of oracle yes correct. then we have to give you salary compensation yes yes, yes, yes. every year you will get benefits yes we will do performance appraisal yes in future you will get promoted yes right yes, yes so all of that product is called as human capital management okay okay from the time the person interviews a company yes till the person leaves the company okay. including his all his service records is all yes. part of human capital management oh, okay 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 so at the end of every month do you, you need to be getting paid right is yes, correct definitely <laughs> you need a payroll you need a payroll product yes 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 so all of this is part of human capital management okay it's an hr software okay okay okay, okay. and 99% of our customers are on cloud yes okay okay so, so what hcm so team, you are providing uh, means you are developing hcm uh, uh, services for other uh, vendors yes okay 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 good and uh, this is part of our cloud strategy okay uh, we don't have on premise product okay it is completely on cloud okay did you get that yeah yeah i got <clears throat> okay so from roles and responsibility okay. what we are looking for this person okay. to join on board is uh, they have to be okay to work either in the bangalore or the hyderabad office okay. but eventually once we select the person we will tell them the location okay uh, that will be the home location okay. but they may need to travel little bit if, if you are in hyderabad office once in a while i might ask you to go to bangalore office for a couple of days and come and things like that yeah, no this. problem for me if you know, already i'm in current bangalore location and uh, hyderabad also i'm very familiar i am very no problem for me okay perfect hmm. the the way um, our uh, product is structured our group is structured okay is um, as i said we have uh, team members in all the three time zones okay um with the main goal for our product uh, for our group will be we are responsible for managing all the branches okay okay we are responsible for the builds okay if the build breaks we need to follow up and get the fixes in yes okay okay and then we are also responsible for deployment okay so this is all fine so here until i have a question released. here my question yeah. so for deployment what uh, tool you are using like uh, suppose i have one thing like only sorry we use jenkins but oh, the internal oh. deployment is based on a bunch of wlst commands oh okay okay wlst okay okay yes yes yeah so we are a such a large product right okay. we can't simply allow anybody to use any scripts yes. so we mask it with a group of commands basically okay okay right and internally we can go and add some more stuff whatever we want and things like that we have a framework for deployment okay. 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 We use the framework for doing the deployment. Okay. Okay. I have worked on like Ansible and uh, Urban Core Deploy. These the tools I have used for deployment purposes. We will talk about Ansible a little bit later okay. uh, as part of the interview. Okay. So I just want to give you a good idea of what we are doing actually, so that you know like what you will do basically. Okay. okay. So what we have done is, okay. if you see, like uh, our goal is to deliver a new product with features. Okay. every quarter okay okay so for delivering for uh, remember i mean 
when i am delivering a product here i'm not delivering for one customer okay. i'm delivering to thousands of customers one shot yeah. okay. so it has to be absolutely clean and it has to work there are no chance for failure here okay okay now how do we do that we have targets to do monthly merge rounds okay okay so okay. assume in the industry you have something called a dev stage and a prod brand yes 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 correct uh-huh. yes, yes yes so yes. we we use similar uh, fundamentals yeah i am also you following three that there will be a dev stage yeah. and a prod yes yes even okay. i am also following same three me- <laughs> dev environment dev yeah so that means and... nobody will be allowed to merge to prod directly unless yes. it is a complete blocker yes Definitely. They do the testing. They do all the code merges on dev. Then a lot of the testing stage. will happen. Then it yes. will move to stage. Then a lot of testing will happen. Um, uh, QA will do a lot of certification. People will push all the bug fixers. Yes. It will go through the re-certification, and you merge down to gold. Correct. Correct. Our target to merge down to gold is every month. Okay. Okay. Yes. So if you ask, our sprint cycle is. One month. Oh, one month. Not two two weeks. No, no, no. The way it works is yeah. the way it works is two weeks for development. Okay. One week for QA testing. Okay. One week for release and operations to do the merge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 The reason is when we do our merge down, we also have to do some lot of analysis. Okay. We have to run a lot of tools to find out whether that core quality is good or not because okay. everything they have automated it. Okay. So, so this okay. core quality and are you are you using any sonar cube or any uh, Oracle product? Uh, not sonar cube. We have other tools which we have uh, bought from the industry. Oh. Uh, there is something called Fortinet which does the security analysis. Okay. Uh, we have uh, other scanners which does the static code analysis. Okay. 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 so there are a lot of other industry tools we use those actually okay um so at end of each month okay you have to commit to our production branch okay now you do month 1 okay. you do month 2 okay. you do month 3 okay and at the end of month 3 ready for the customer okay okay every three months okay. every quarterly we are releasing quarterly feature releases okay. now okay. let us say you have delivered to a customer this particular quarter okay but the customer may need some bug fixes on each month basis okay okay right yeah any feedback any bug fixes change request and change request yeah so okay. for that we have a different branch by okay. quarter Oh, uh-huh. okay. All the bug fixes okay. which you give on a monthly basis to the customer as bug fixes will go into that maintenance branch. Okay. And whatever you put in the maintenance branch, you need to make sure it will be put in dev and stage two, so that it will go into the next month commit to the product. Okay. Got it? Okay. So like this, we have multiple branches to manage. Okay. And uh, we have written a lot of tools. Okay. to find out whether the developer has merged in all the necessary branches and things like that okay see just imagine if 1500 people are going to be coding yes you can't be manually be inspecting every single transaction yes, correct yes, it's not possible so we have written a lot of tools for it yes, okay okay so this is from a branching perspective okay do you have any questions on branching like no. what we are doing no no no, no. right now we are okay the same what are the environments which said the dev staging and the production same way we are also following but we are maintaining only the two branches the dev and the master branch dev all the developers will connect to the dev directly and we will uh, merging into the master the dev yeah okay. now let's talk about environment perspective okay. okay okay now we want to support qa environments for the dev branch okay we want to support the qa environments for the stage bra- stage branch mm-hmm. we also want to support the, uh, the environments qa environments for prod branch okay okay so we are supporting at least three environments for each of those branches okay okay, okay. then once we release the product at end of each quarter okay we also create 
some more we create a maintenance branch correct okay. yes. when the developer merges the bug fixes hmm. for the transactions what developers are merging the patches will get generated for it okay now individually those patches have to be applied okay. for qa to certify before the patch gets released to the customer okay yes definitely correct yes yes definitely. so for that for maintenance branches hmm. also we have environments we need to patch those environments too okay Okay. okay so at any given point of time mm -hmm. we are roughly looking at about 6 to 10 environments at all times yes correct okay? okay because where you are in the cycle for that particular month mm -hmm. certain environments will be active certain weeks certain environments will be active and things like that okay so you got the big picture yes yes i got more okay now I don't know, like in the place where you are currently working, how many tables you have, right? Yes. See, uh, one of the thing you may have always worked is um, you are always working in the middle tier code, okay. like Java code deployment. Yes, Java code only. Yes. What, what do you do for your backend code changes? Like it could be SQL scripts, new tables will be created, new views will be created. Most of the places where you'll be working, you'll have a DBA to handle that. Yes, definitely. That's what I'm I, uh, supposed to give answer. Like, see, we for that one, uh, dedicated uh, DBA guys are there. Everything they will take care of. Correct. No, in our team, we take care of all of those. Okay. As a DevOps engineer. Yes. Okay. We need to own the end-to-end -end deployment, okay. whether it's database or middle tier or SOA oh. or Bipple oh. or whatever it is. Okay. 100% is owned by my team. Oh, good, good. Okay. okay. Now you might ask a question. Hey, you are doing Java deployment. You are doing backend. How do you do it? We have built a framework for that. Oh. Automatically, based on the file type, okay. it knows what to do. Oh, okay. If it is suppose that. If it Java, is a SQL. Okay. Yes, if it is a SQL, okay. my framework knows that it has to apply to the database. Oh. If it is a jar, my framework knows that it has to just copy and bounce the server. Oh, great framework we have done and developed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So when the developer merges a code, okay. he doesn't care whether which part of the tech stack it is. Hey, okay. for this functionality to work, okay. I need all these files. Okay. I have made a backend code change. I have made a Java code change. Okay. I have made a UI code change. Okay. He will not tell. Oh, uh, we, you can't keep asking like thousand developers what kind of changes they have done. Yes. We should automatically detect that. Okay. Okay, so we own the entire piece of it. There is no DBA here, basically. We do the deployment of all the middle tier as well as the backend. Oh, great. Okay. Then, if you want to do install test, okay. if you have like five thousand uh, database objects, mm -hmm. is it trivial to sit and uh, do the install test? No. It's complicated. Yes, correct. We have written a we have written our own framework for that. Mm -hmm. Where you give a label, okay. it will do a black box testing for you. Uh -huh. It will install everything and it will tell you that these are the results of the install testing. So what about this Java? Uh, uh, developers are writing the JUnit test cases or anything you are. Yes, we also have uh, JUnit test cases. We use okay. JUnit basically. Okay. okay, okay. Not only JUnit, we also have PL SQL uh, DB unit also. Oh. Okay. I'm not aware of that one, but I know JUnit test cases and that. Yeah, JUnit is for Java. Yes. We have DB unit for uh, database. Oh, DB unit for Java. database. So those things are okay. developed uh, by the developers or any separate yes. SQL developer? No, no, no. Developers will write that, okay. but we will provide the framework for them to check in the code and we will call them. Oh, oh. okay, okay. Got it? Yeah, got it. Hmm. Okay. Then. As a developer, before merging the code, we want them to run some tools. Okay. My team is also owner of some of the tools like that. We okay. have written a lot of tools okay. where the developer will use it before committing the code. Okay. Those tools have been written using Shell, hmm. Python, hmm. Perl, different okay. combinations of it we have written. Okay. Got it? Okay. Effectively, hmm. my team manages the whole of Mm -hmm. the release and operations for the engineering organization okay. of a team size of about 1000 people oh very big team okay? okay so do you have any questions on the kind of work what you will do like what this team is doing uh, no uh, everything you have explained me 
Okay. Okay. Good. Actually. Okay. So that's why I wanted to take like ten minutes, give you yeah, a good yeah. idea. That is actually like, really, really it is, good. Because it's important. Really helpful for me. Whatever the big okay. uh, and we were looking also <laughs> from my side. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Saida, now let's learn from your side. Okay. Uh, so what I explained to you, does it sound interesting for you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. and um, I, I, this is very interesting to me like because see, already i have worked on already the already general availability tools like in market and maybe this uh, but you people are maybe more on working on the customized tools and based tools see suppose you said correct. Already, you worked on like the, correct right all the ad, um, customized tools right i want to see i want i would like to work on like that too sure Mm-hmm. sir and remember we are doing large scale operations here we are mm-hmm. not doing yeah, for one right. project i uh, i saw uh, you said already 1000 people working and reporting to you correct correct yeah. correct so say the couple of things let's learn from your side okay. uh, why is that you are looking for a change um, because i see that uh, in your resume you are currently working for sapient yes, yes. and i think one of your client is uh, bed bath and beyond yes, yes. and uh, you have been in that project for about 2 years now correct yes, yes. two years so why are you looking for a change uh not much uh, just uh, i want to learn new things if i in the same company uh, maybe okay it, it's a uh, yeah, same uh, task they are giving just uh, everything and uh, just uh, my better perfect i want to carry my growth in my business those things and right now i'm working as a contractor <clears throat> so that one also i want to i'm looking for permanent uh, this one okay right. so you're telling contractor versus full time employment that's mm-hmm. the other thing which you're looking for yes. see the reason why i asked you that is yes. after let's say i get you on board to oracle after 3 years yes. you might say the same thing Hey, I'm doing the same thing for three years. Does it mean that you will quit Oracle at that time? Uh, not. That is the main reason. But uh, the permanent lo- permanent role I'm looking for. Looking for permanent role. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is the uh, salary you are expecting actually? Oh, uh, I'm expecting thirty percent. My current city is five point two lakhs. Okay. Thirty percent expecting. Five point two CTC, right? Yes. Sir. okay got it so one more thing said i just want to give you a hit sir mm-hmm. so this salary question okay. you are okay to answer me okay. anil and somebody who will call from the hr department okay. but we'll also do a com- couple of technical rounds for you from um, our team okay. other uh, engineers will call you and the senior engineers principal engineers will call you and talk to you okay, okay. No so for them for them there is no need to discuss the salary okay it is okay to discuss the salary with me okay. anil and somebody who calls from the hr department okay oh, sure okay, okay? Yes. so because i just want in case if somebody asks you can say that uh, politely you can say that i have currently discussed these uh, salary details with uh, anil and shrinivas you okay. can tell like that okay sir sure. yeah i understood this because we should not reveal with that uh, colleagues and because <laughs> i know this thing. correct correct yeah okay okay understood uh, all right so um say so let's talk a little bit about your project what yes. you have done uh-huh. and then we give, do you have another 20 30 minutes no problem because i think we no already problem. took like 20 minutes actually no problem 20 minutes no problem we can continue okay so can you tell me a little bit about uh, your current role what you are doing in the bed bath and beyond project Uh, tell me everything like what you do on a daily basis on that particular project okay. for like first 5 minutes okay. and then uh, you also explain to me uh, what tools you have written from scratch for bed bath and beyond okay. or like what tools have you modified actually uh, in your role of there working there for 2 years okay. go ahead please sure see uh... for uh, as of my in this it experience as a devops engineer i have mainly worked on github repository uh, and the uh, like build tools like ant and maven and the code quality tools like sonar cube and sonar scanner these things and uh, the continuous integration tool as i have worked as on jenkins and the deployment tools like urban code deploy and ansible and the tomcat we have used 
for this case and uh, so the deployment the you use ansible that's what you're saying yes 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 ansible and uh, uh, for okay. uh, the monitoring tools i have used uh, the new relic tool this thing and okay. uh, come to my daily data responsibility is like um, for uh, initially for uh, starting onboarding this new project uh, into this uh, uh, assigned to this project from scratch i have configured all the jobs for like uh, jenkins jobs integrated uh, this uh, build tools ant and maven with uh, this uh, jenkins and integrated that sonar cube with uh, jenkins continuous integration tool and i have created the each job for each environment and uh, configured that uh, in, uh, github repository with uh, Jen- jenkins job and uh, for a dev environment we have created one job in the jenkins okay and everything mail uh, and i have installed uh, all the necessary plugins in the jenkins and we have configured uh, mail configuration everything we have configured okay for like that i have fr- uh, newly onboarded this new project i have done all the installed all these things and uh, configured and i have set the class pass or everything i have done for the, from scratch for this project after that uh, we have uh, sup- i have supported for uh, other projects already implemented uh, these uh, configuration signal for that time if any uh, like build issues suppose some any permissions is there, some any uh, the dependencies that are missing i am fixing those things suppose any um, weekend server maintenance sometimes uh, the server teams uh, forget to start the sonar team and that. if any build issues i am fixing those things and that. so okay. and uh, apart from this one if any uh, suppose in the de- in the development team uh, some developers are coming and going so that time uh, i have created the organizations in the github repository and created the teams if any new member is joining new member is onboarding into that particular uh, team i am providing the access to that team this are mm-hmm. my mainly this okay so uh, in terms of you said like uh, um like you have written uh, some new tasks in uh, jenkins right yes, yes so like what can you explain one of the job what you have written from scratch in jenkins actually sure so uh, returning nothing but like uh, configuring uh, or going to see as soon as you log in into the jenkins any of the continuous mm-hmm. right now i am working on uh, jenkins as a continuous integration tool as soon as log in into the jenkins dashboard you will see like uh, left side one uh, new item click on that one provide the job whatever the job name like suppose i am doing for a dev environment the project name and a bit, <laughs> a bit both on iphone dev the, i have provided the job name is like, like this and uh, there i am giving the description about that one and uh, discard build suppose i want to maintain only the five last five successful builds uh, like that mm-hmm. and i am providing the mm-hmm. uh, github repository url with uh, the credentials whatever the suppose if any ssh key generation i will select that one based on whatever the uh, connection type you are putting that one it will take that one and after that i am uh, whether it is if it is initially we have done like a freestyle project and maven projects like this mm-hmm. after that we have and right now we are using like pipeline and multi branch pipeline advanced uh, concepts we are using so initially we have used the freestyle project and uh, so you are uh, currently using a pipeline so yeah pipeline and multi branch pipeline also multi branch pipeline is very useful if you are suppose uh, may, may, may more developers are working and each developer having own their own uh, uh, branches like uh, suppose 50 developers are in one project they are writing uh, they are using their own branches so in one repository suppose 50 branches are there so uh, mm-hmm. i want to do the Uh, build for 50 branches okay mm-hmm. independently instead of creating 50 jobs in the J- jenkins you can go ahead and use one uh, option is there multi branch pipeline okay in the 2.0 sure. they have so if you use that one and give that uh, uh, the repository url automatically it indexes all the 50 branches and it will identify that branch names and with the, that branch name jenkins automatically it will create the jobs okay 
we don't want to create yeah. all 50 jobs just one job will create sure. and will give that repository well automatically it will index all the branch names and with that branch name it will create the branch jobs in the that uh, jenkins so for that one right. we have used the jenkins file and we have written the some uh, groovy script in the jenkins one file called as jenkins file j capital letter r yeah, yeah. yes okay there we have written the some groovy script in that groovy script that uh, stages is this is first stage is like check out in the code from scm the source code management after that we are doing the build then sonar cube is running after that <clears throat> deploying using ansible after that it's sending the mail and we integrated some slack channels like slack applications like a team collaboration tools right. okay. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah these are the yeah, we also use uh, slack Oh. um but yeah our usage of slack is slightly different oh. uh yes we do have uh, slack uh, in oracle we use slack or oh. okay okay good yeah we have integrated those so slack with the jenkins and all. as soon as the build is done successfully or whatever the failure also is we are sending a notification to that uh, slack channel there all the developers team is there and devops team also is there so got it this kind of things i have done so I have a question for you on uh, some of the scripting and things like that what you have done right sure. um so let us assume um let's take a simple case study and see like how we can do this in jenkins okay okay um so let us say i have to write a small uh, tool mm-hmm. uh, which i will eventually hook it up in jenkins okay and uh, we have to generate an html report out of it okay, okay? Yes. so assume what we need to do is um every day um you have to write, run a job okay. uh, that runs at like uh, let's say 4 am uh, india time okay right all it does is it will go to the source control mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. Uh, for your main branch or your mm-hmm. master branch mm-hmm. and identify mm-hmm. um basically uh, how many java files are there how many sql files are there okay. all of those because mm-hmm. today your uh, developers are committing all of that code yes yes correct yes uh what i want to know is mm-hmm. from yesterday to today mm-hmm. how many files have got changed mm-hmm. from a java perspective and a sql perspective okay. okay so let's assume that today you ran that script okay and let's say there were 100 java files okay. and like 20 sql files okay okay, okay. tomorrow okay. uh let's say 10 new java files have got added and mm-hmm. two new sql files have got added okay so assume that today is the baseline your today is the first day you ran the job okay okay mm-hmm. so today it will tell 100 java files 20 mm-hmm. sql files mm-hmm. so tomorrow when it runs mm-hmm. let's say it is 110 java files mm-hmm. and 22 sql files yeah. right yes so then it should say that we had like whatever 10 new java files and two new sql files yes now the following day let's say three more java files got came into play and one more new sql file okay okay mm-hmm. you need to uh, tell that mm-hmm. and the last one is mm-hmm. um let's say uh, five java files got deleted on the fourth day okay. right because the developers always keep modifying the code then yes. they might realize oh this i don't need it and things like that yes. because they refactor the code and things like that yes right so if i want to do something like that okay. i would like to know what is the logic you are going to use basically um maybe you can give me your you can take like a couple of minutes okay. um think about it i and tell me the logic how you are going to do it and what kind of language will you write it will you write this in shell or python mm-hmm. and you can tell me a little bit um high level pseudo code like how you are going to work on the script mm-hmm. and eventually plugging it in jenkins is not a big deal right it's very easy mm-hmm. uh, because in jenkins you can put the schedule and you can tell where the script is running from and all the stuff yeah. right but i want to understand like how you are going to go about the problem definition which i gave you like what will be your logic and how you will work on it you can take 5 minutes before you answer the question okay so no, first i will explain what i have done for these things and then okay later uh-huh. uh, we will uh, this one see if, uh, we have done like uh, uh, for one of the project uh, like uh, uh, that uh, hooks and services we have configured okay as soon as the developer commits it's automatically mm-hmm. trigger the jenkins and it will do the build for dev environment only only the dev environment oh. okay and for mm-hmm. some of the projects we have done uh, 
that like a pool acm okay so every five minute or uh, yeah, uh, in the uh, github repository if any changes are done by the developers automatically it will do the build okay so sure. as as soon as the developer commits it's automatically do the build for dev environment only okay sure. so we can do like that and for uh, this scheduled build also suppose each daily ones if you configure that hooks and services are full acm as soon as the developer commits it will do the build right n number of times they have committed n number of times the build will do, done for the dev environment instead of that one suppose i i want to i don't want to do the deployment i want to do i don't want to the build n number of times instead of that only one time i want to do for each day so for that one you can create you can install one plugin scheduled for that one you can uh, configure like scheduled suppose each day 12 o'clock IST India standard time I have to run and I have to get all the changes committed by the developers and it will do the mm-hmm. build. it will integrate and it will do the build and if it, first it will run the genie test cases if all the genie test cases is passed then it will uh, do the build after the doing build it will give the same code to the sonar cube it will run the sonar cube scanner and if any issues it will report if you see in the J- for that for that particular job once the build is successful if you go and see in the jenkins you will see the uh, we'll see the recent changes if you click on that recent changes what are the files got affected okay and what are okay. the files has modified you will see all the files list there with the names those kind of things i can see apart from yeah, this but okay. i want you to write a script for that assume that you have you have produced a daily label okay daily at end of uh, let's say at 3 o'clock every day in the afternoon okay you have uh, 3 o'clock in the morning you have built a daily label okay, okay? Mm. from your master branch okay right mm. um or even let's take a dev branch itself mm. you you have a number of people checking in code all throughout the day mm. but i want this report every day to come at 4 in the morning okay okay for all the project managers that the mail to come at 4 in the morning right mm-hmm. so i want you to produce a daily label at 3 in the morning okay so now it's fresh out of that okay. and then your analysis should be on top of that label basically. okay so for that one maybe we can write one shell script what that uh, uh-huh. like uh, uh, use uh, git uh, logs okay e- each commit we are it maintaining the uh version right for each commit it will maintain one version in that version it will maintains what are the updated so you can uh, write okay, some, let me uh, let me give uh, let me let me solve let me simplify the problem for you a little bit okay. don't look at lot of git logs and do the parsing okay. can you do a simple find in unix and come up with some stuff see for example today okay. when you okay. um when you sync your git Mm. Uh, all the files at 3 am label is available for you on your machine correct okay yes so why don't you think from that perspective because everything is locally cached in your view right you don't need to parse any git logs actually okay so that time maybe i can use uh, like a find one command is there and uh, uh-huh. maybe i can pass whether it is in the current directory or in the whatever the particular directory i will pass with the slash that uh, absolute path i will pass if it is suppose i am executing uh-huh. that one in the current directory i will put the oh, dot okay find okay. dot maybe that path relative uh-huh. path or whatever the absolute path suppose i am using uh-huh. in the, the my shell script and whatever the files that uh, in the current directory so that time i will use find dot iphan m time one option is there right m time mm-hmm. suppose mm-hmm. i will put one so what it will do it will find all the files modified exact one day in the current directory because okay. i put that got it that. it will give all the files right suppose sure. if you want to uh, uh, exact file means i font type uh, the type is f f means if it is a file if it is if you type d means it is will give all the directories which are accessed by last one day okay like that it will give us all and the then files. you can uh, you can write uh, basically uh, some more logic on top of it and you can store that in the database if you want because if you want day by day how we are making progress you can store it in the database right yes. because later we can mine the data yes yes definitely we can do that okay so now uh, if you want to send an email mm-hmm. uh, through the script 
mm-hmm. or jenkins like let's assume that uh, you wrote a script now yes, and the yes. script is able to get the data and maybe uh, the script itself can generate an html report and it can also push it to the web server let's assume that all that you have done with the script okay, okay? definitely now let's come to the now let's let's come to the jenkins uh, side of the story right okay. on jenkins okay. you'll create a brand new task you'll schedule it and then you'll put the shell script and all the stuff correct yes, yes correct so let's assume that this script can take longer time to learn a run for example let's assume that you're moni- you're monitoring a very huge source tree okay on jenkins hmm. have you utilized the master and slave concept yes master and slave sir see why we need to do this master and slave suppose 100 jobs are there suppose if you 100 Correct. jobs in jenkins if we, if you configured all in the master it is very burden for that one instead of and it will take some time instead of that one what we have done we have created the slaves and some jobs are running in the slaves and some jobs are in the other slaves and some jobs are in the master like that we have distributed the work to all these master and slave concept okay got it okay now since you have uh, your master and slave mm. so let's assume that this will go to one of the slaves okay, okay? You can configure uh, the yeah, job. Yeah, can, while configuring the job, we can restrict yes. the build in this particular um, node. We can do it. We can and pass things it. Like that. Yes. Correct. So now let's say you have done the configuration. Okay. Now, at the end of the job, you need to send an email. Mm-hmm. What kind of plugins in Jenkins have you utilized to send emails? Yeah, editable uh, email notification we have done. Okay. There you uh-huh. have to put that... Uh, <clears throat> whatever the by default it is uh, default uh, recipients are there okay default uh, recipients uh, that um, whatever the default recipient it will come from the configure uh, jenkins uh, manage jenkins in that configure uh, this one there we can put default all the devops engineer will get that one so apart from that one in the that project recipient list you can put uh, the all the developers as well as suppose who are working for that one Okay, for that one we have used the editable email notification. There you have to put our, to whom you need to send. Okay, auto reply. What is the default subject? Some, uh, some default underscore subject. That is one system defined uh, variable provided by the Jenkins. It will give that uh, subject as like a uh, project uh, build number and project name, whatever the job name, and whether it is a success or fail. It will give and the content also. If you have want to <clears throat> uh, in that mail, if you want to like that uh, Jenkins build URL, okay, and what are the Jenkins mm-hmm. domain name that URL and the job name it will give. Apart from that, if you want to attach build log also, we have one thing like uh, attach build log. There by default it is option is like uh, it's do not attach build log. Okay, mm-hmm. like that it is there. Uh, we have done for uh, some of. Uh, attaching the builds and some of we are not attaching so automatically it will do for this one you have to install the, the editable email plugin correct okay um i think uh that uh gives us a good idea like how you are using your jenkins okay um before using these things, first we have to uh, configure that smtp server that all these things we have to yeah, configure yeah. uh that is uh that is given Yes. Without that, it will not work. Yes. Because Jenkins, again, is only a framework. Yes, it yes. needs some more underlying bits in it to work. Yes, correct. Absolutely. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, let me see if I want to talk a little bit more on the technical capabilities. Um, I'm looking at your resume to yes. see if there's any other questions which I have. Okay, so here is uh, some more uh, uh, questions for you on the environment. What is your backup and recovery strategy for your uh, environments which you are supporting for your development and QA? So, so because we are using Linux, like, uh, Linux uh, 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 Red Hat servers, right? So while procuring uh-huh. their servers, in that uh, uh-huh. uh, package they mentioned we are providing these uh, uh, like uh, disaster recovery if any issues. We are maintaining these data centers. Okay, uh, they mentioned all the plan. Okay, so if any issues, if any data recovery, that's dedicated Linux support team is there. They are getting, 
and apart from this oh, okay. if, suppose Bye. in the gym so, suppose okay in our team okay. we are responsible for backup and recovery too okay everything we do oh okay so, but uh, while so cooking the linux servers so they are in the plan they are in the package they are mentioning we have the dedicated team san team backup team we are doing we are supporting okay. this one even if you don't want so the reason why i asked you that okay okay yesterday okay. the code quality was good we okay. were able to successfully deploy okay 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 um and then hmm. uh tomorrow we are doing the deployment again okay. but this time the code was bad everything compiled clean okay okay, okay. but after deployment okay. we saw like the application is not coming up okay so that means we have to find what the issue is and get it fixed Yes. or roll back to the previous deployment yes so if you want to roll back we have the what uh, previous build number are already whatever yes. we have developed so, uh, deployed Correct. we have that one right so same backup also there because we are putting into the jfrag artifact repository also same thing okay so first of all how will so you debug? put it in uh, jfrag yes jfrag artifact we and uh, okay. suppose how we will debug first first we will go to the log see the log files okay what are what kind of error we are getting if any any uh-huh. mem- memory issues are out of memory issues like that we will see those things and we will approach to, to the developers okay got it okay so now the question for you is mm. uh, see when you do the backup and recovery right one mm. of the challenge you will always have is um see every day when you are doing the deployment okay. who does the deployment of the database changes so for example okay. let's say your developer has introduced a new feature okay. for which he has made a change in the data model like mm-hmm. maybe he has introduced a new column in the table yes yes, yes. okay, okay. Mm-hmm. and then he also has the middle tier code change for that mm-hmm. okay yes okay mm-hmm. now how are you currently coordinating in your job what is the database change and what is the middle tier change because if you are responsible only for the middle tier code yes. how do you know that the database code has changed yes we are see we have a db guy okay for each deployment ah. every two weeks suppose if any big release we are same whatever two weeks once we are deploying okay means two uh-huh. prints work we are deploying if any major release like features and all okay if any small small stories if any if if we, if we, uh, in the uh, deployment tracker we are mentioning what are the back end code and what are the any db related mm-hmm. code we are doing if any db related mm-hmm. changes are there okay we will involve that dba guy into the deployment time okay so like that we are coordinating uh-huh. we are we are coordinating with the db guy while deploying first he will like good that one okay after that uh, mm-hmm. immediately we are deploying into that to production environment everything first we will test it because in the deployment tracker we are maintaining so what in this mm-hmm. release what is only the back end back end code is going or apart from this one is any db script also modifying so like that we are in the tracker deployment tracker we are maintaining if any related to the back end we will involve that dba guy into that time we will uh, we will schedule uh, one uh, meeting okay in that particular time all we will coordinate collaborate and we will uh, deploy that time okay got it and one more thing regarding to backup we were talking i forgot to tell you that time so uh, we are not doing in the server side server level but in the jenkins right. side in the jenkins side i am uh-huh. doing like one uh, plugin is there backup plugin suppose whatever you mm-hmm. have done that configurations it's keep on change you in, in, install that plugin backup plugin and yes. it's all, mm-hmm. every time it will keep on take that backups and it will maintain the configuration which you have done mm-hmm. correct mm-hmm. yes i have done those things but uh, jenkins level i have done but server level i didn't done because i didn't get a chance to and uh, because we have dedicated and uh, as procuring while procuring that uh, that uh, linux server they mentioned we are providing we are charging this one even if you don't want support also but they will provide that is the they standard so are you currently using the amazon web services for uh, all no, your no, no, amazon no, just like a linux uh, uh, server thing. okay got it so um, all right okay uh, that takes care of uh, the jenkins portion of it and uh, the deployment portion of it okay um so i'll give you a brief idea like what are the next steps kind okay, okay? okay. so my idea of uh, talking to you today was explaining the role 
and understanding what you really very good uh, really uh, you explain me a lot about uh, overall uh, the a big picture how what you are looking from my side and what you are doing really very good <laughs> this thing yeah yeah uh, because that's kind of important right i mean yes, yes. Uh, really i didn't get uh, <laughs> from anybody clear, like, what you are doing because they should give you a good idea like what you are going to get into yes basically. that is good actually <laughs> good yeah so i will tell you like what the next steps are say that so that way you be aware of it okay so as you know like anil had a brief telephonic conversation with you okay today i had another uh, one round of uh, telephonic interview okay um what i and already i had the, given the, one technical round to the gokul on last week gokul correct okay. yes okay. gokul does the initial screening on the technical side okay so what we are going to do is okay uh, i'll have one more person in the us okay. talk to you tomorrow your okay. time Okay. Uh, same time maybe a little bit earlier or around the same time like uh, uh, how about uh, are you free on friday morning or you have to be at work uh, do you have some time to talk on friday friday morning or afternoon uh, this same time also no problem for me same time um same time it's a little early in the us i'm okay. just thinking what might be uh, how about like friday morning 11 am would it work for you okay, no problem friday? no problem no problem tomorrow only friday now the thursday evening yeah, i think uh, we will means in less than uh, 12 in less than 12 hours we'll call you like uh, basically okay uh, kind of thing so right? uh, so assume friday morning 11 am hmm. uh, you will get a call hmm. and uh, the person who will call you is uh, keshav keshav okay. okay from india or will be from us he will call okay okay uh that will be a technical interview mm-hmm. uh, the focus will be on scripting okay okay, okay. um uh, scripting so, means either shell script or groovy what is yeah yeah shell groovy whatever okay. uh, you feel comfortable okay. but uh, shell definitely my team members no shell because they will we have done a lot of shell work basically okay, okay. so the, uh, if you have some questions on shell like uh, you you have some doubts in your mind you may want to revise that basically. okay so sure. thank you um, thank you for giving so uh, we are going to do a one round of shell uh, mm. or like scripting uh, interview okay and after that okay. um, if everything we have got positive feedback we'll ask you to come face to face to the oracle campus okay sure no problem in bangalore because you are currently based out of in bangalore correct yes, yes correct so we will try to get you into the bangalore office for a face to face but it will not happen this week but it will happen after the new year yeah yeah actually gokul told me it's in january you may get uh, like that he said but uh, suddenly surprise yes, today that's yes that's correct yeah. that's correct because until january 2nd a lot of people are on holiday and the yes. us is also holiday and things like that yes. um so you will you will be coming face to face after january 2nd for sure okay basically Okay. that's why we are trying to uh, because for even candidate this is a slow period right yes, so we just yes. thought we'll finish off all the wrapping up the interviews telephonic one this week okay okay thank you okay, okay. so uh, currently you assume that you will get a call at 11 am mm-hmm. uh, india I, time on friday 11 am uh, 11 am right uh, if there is a change in that uh, plan okay. i will send you an email uh whatever you have given you have given one fileid devops@gmail.com right correct, correct so in the morning when you get up just okay. check that mail once okay sure sure so that is uh, okay. uh, uh thursday end of the day for you right yes that's correct okay. thursday night us time will be okay. your friday morning 11 am okay uh, better to maybe 12 is possible 11:30 something 11:30 11:30 yeah 11:30 yeah, also should be okay So 11:30 yeah, I think first okay fine thank you So if there is a change in the plan okay you will send me uh, I will let you know okay uh, thank you because uh, I want to talk to Keshav to find his availability okay uh, and then uh, I will let you know So okay. currently you keep it as Friday 11:30 a.m. okay thank you sure. Okay um so the next steps will be he will talk and then we will all group and we will write our uh, analysis like uh how you have done and then we will decide when you need to come face to face to the bangalore office okay thank you thanks a lot uh so do you have any questions for me no no so tomorrow mainly on uh, scripting only right yes okay okay no problem thank you
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time. Bye. Hello. Hello. Could I speak to Saida Reddy? Yes, speaking. Hi, Saida. My name is uh, Srinivas. I'm calling from Oracle, actually. Yes, Srinivas. Nice to talk. Um, I think uh, you might have spoken to my uh, team member Anil Nanda from yes, uh, yes. India. Yes, yes, correct. Okay. Is it okay? Time to talk now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hi, Saida. So, uh, just wanted to briefly touch upon um, the this opportunity at Oracle. So, has Anil given you?